Hello everybody, today I'll show you how to create and export freeze frames in Final Cut. Okay, so here I have a video. It's just a video with two titles on it. And say I wanted to make a freeze frame right there, on that frame. Just go to Modify, Make Freeze Frame. Keyboard shortcut is Shift N. Okay, so there you go, there's a freeze frame right there. Just drag that onto your timeline. And it turned red, so let's render it first. I'll hit Command R to render, and let's play it. Okay, it freezed right there. Perfect. Now, Final Cut automatically, by default, will create a 10 second freeze frame. I find it to be a little bit too long. I'll always uh, shorten the frame a lot of times, like this. Which isn't a problem, but if you ever wanted to change the default settings, just go to Final Cut, User Preferences, Editing, and change the freeze frame duration right there. I'll put 3 seconds and hit OK. And now by default it'll only create a 3 second freeze frame. Let's do it one more time. Say I wanted a freeze frame right there. Just do the same steps. And now it created a 3 second freeze frame. Perfect. Okay so let's say I wanted to export one of these still images or just a frame. As always, bring your playhead to the frame that you want to export. So say I wanted to export that frame. Just go to File, Export, using QuickTime Conversion. Now for the format, make sure you select Still Image, not QuickTime Movie. Give it a name, and of course, save it. Okay, let's take a look. Alright, there it is. It created a PNG file. Okay, so that's how you create and export a still image in Final Cut. Thanks for watching.